You want to scoot in closer to me? There we go. They want to see you guys more than they want to see me. So, um, we're going to have people come on and just, we can just say hi. It's kind of late at night, but it's been a while. Hi there. You guys can say hi, too. Hi. hi. <laughs> so, you want to introduce yourself, Ellie? Um, I'm Ellie Myers. Yeah. How old are you? I'm eight. Mm-hmm. And look, that's AJ. You guys remember AJ? Yeah. yeah. Hi. Hi, AJ. She's watching. And uh, Ellie, what's your favorite color? Um, I like green and blue. Mm-hmm. What's your favorite movie? Um, I like a lot. What's a good one you want to watch right now? Um, I like... Somebody from I've, Michigan is watching. And California, too. Yeah. Um, I, we watched, um, Twilight, and I think that one is a really good one. It's we did. like, I hope there's another twi Twilight movie coming up sometime. <laughs> I was, uh, I was a little bit hesitant to introduce my, you know, elementary school girls to Twilight, but we decided it was good for Halloween, and they all really loved it, huh? Mm -hmm. There was a couple scenes that we had them step out for, namely the baby birth scene was a little bit much, but um, but you guys really loved the movies, huh? John yeah. just stood up during most of them. He's so funny the way that he watches movies. He gets so into it, huh, girls? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And he stands up and he goes, yeah, and he gets so excited when the wolves, I think he really liked the wolves the most, huh? Yeah. yeah. All right, Sophie, why don't you introduce yourself a little bit? So, um... What's your name? I'm Sophia, and my favorite color is purple. Mm -hmm. And well, um, <laughs> uh, well, my favorite book is um, Nancy Drew, and I kind of, well, it's kind of my favorite book because I like like uh, a lot of books. Mm -hmm. And well, I don't really have a favorite movie movie either. I really like a lot of stuff. What are some of the things you guys like to watch? I like to watch. I like Twilight. I like to watch. Um, Twilight, Poc Pocahontas two. Um, yeah. I like the Someone British. mentioned Pocahontas. Yeah, I also like um, Greatest Showman and yeah. They, we there was a so comment much. asking if they liked the Greatest Showman still. We still really love that, huh? Yeah. Why don't you guys tell them about the school song last year? Um. Oh. We, so we had this song. Let her start, and you can finish the story. Okay, go ahead. And so, so um, we we had this song um from the Greatest Showman, and um it was like this: You are a stranger from to the dark, hide away. They say, and it went along, and it and it went along until the end, mm -hmm. and and then they did it on the stage in front of all the people, so they stood up to do it. <laughs> uh, Sophie is my absolute favorite name. Somebody says, um, ever had a daughter? I want to name her Sophia, and my name is Elise, kind of close to Ellie. Oh, and Green Eyed Beauty is a longtime friend of ours, huh? I recognize you. Looks good, children. Boxcar children, you, have you guys read any of those? Yeah, I've, I love those. I'm hesitant to start Babysitter's Club, and the newer Nancy Drews, I'm a little bit anti, just because she has like a different boyfriend in every book. But the classic Nancy Drews, we gave them, um, you guys got the first 20 last year for Christmas, and you guys have been plowing through Ellie, them, Ellie, huh? can I show them the book of Nancy Drew? You sure can. Which one are you on now, Ellie? Um, I'm on You're on 14. like 13 or 14? Yeah. Yeah. So I've Time lost to get the next two, 20. I'm on Nancy Drew's three, um, The Bungalow Mystery. So who of you on there read these books growing up? Because I would plow through those in a night. Yeah, these, My name is Ellie. These I spell are so it like, good. And like, um, these I think are it's, so good books. And maybe her name is L, and she spells it like Ellie, so it's E-L-L-E. -L -L -E. Um, AJ says, girls, does it sound fun if I come visit soon and bring my husband? Logan would love to meet you both. Would you yeah, guys like that? It would yeah, it would be so fun. Um, because someone said, never... if, what about American Girl Boys? I don't know what that is, but like a, the American Girl story? Oh, books, probably. Um, we actually have those, and, and those were great. Um, also, I loved the... Uh, growing up, I loved those journal stories. I forget what they were called. Like, My Name is America, I think. Um, and they were different from the different perspectives of different little girls um, from history. And they have, uh, I have Cleopatra, and we have one called um, The Coal Miner's Bride, which was really good. And I have the one about the girl in the Titanic. And 
um, some really good ones. I'm excited for you guys to read them. We have lots of good books, huh? We have a big library. Yeah. But we've been chiseling away at it and reading, um, kind of getting rid of some books that are like probably won't be read. Even though I love having a gajillion books, we've been trying to get rid of some because it's just, they just don't fit here very well. Um, somebody said, read The Country Artist. It's perfect age group for the girls and it's the story of Beatrix Potter. Oh, they love Beatrix Potter. Uh, which one of your girls is the oldest? Me. You I'm are. second. We're trying to all squish in the frame. <laughs> yes, Ellie turned eight in well, March. Well, it was yeah, different March years, 20th. but um, it was turned, like in order. Yeah. Both of us are on the 20th, and it goes in order. March, mm -hmm. April. Like, her birthday's in March, my birthday's in April, uh -huh. and they're both the 20th. Yeah, That's so you guys are like really close, and you've done everything together forever. And so when you were born, Ellie was only one month, um, she was only 13 months old. And she was not walking yet, huh, Ellie? So I had a crawler and a newborn. That was fun. Mm -hmm. And then when John was born, a year after self, I had a walker and a crawler and a newborn. A new walker, because she was two, like freshly two. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, let's see. The hidden staircase, that's probably my favorite too. Oh, the hidden staircase, yeah. yeah. I finished that um, a couple months ago. Yeah, we all have middle names. Little House on the Prairie. Oh, and Anne of Green Gables, you guys have to start those. You guys have some good books. So growing up, actually, funny story, this one um, especially had a British accent for the first, when she started talking for the first like year because I turned on Beatrix Potter shows for her and they were narrated by a Brit and um, all about I think I just turned down anyways um, no, no apologies necessary um, but they were narrated and they, she watched Peppa Pig and she watched Harry Potter I'd turn on the Harry Potter movies and so when she started talking she had a really cute accent and everybody pointed it out and Babysitter's Club and the Princess and the Frog series by Ed Baker. Oh, these are all good recommendations. Maybe I'll do a blog post pretty soon and ask people for more because we have so many good ones, but I'd love to hear. Um, my siblings and I read the Magic Treehouse books. Ooh, and there's uh, Ellie started A Wrinkle in Time, and you've been doing the Ramona books. And, I love the Ramona books. Yeah, uh, you've been so reading funny. the Black Beauty series, and not very often though. Not since yeah. last Christmas. Um, you know, I think I told them, but I bet a lot of these people didn't hear it because I was proud. Um, in second grade, I had my um, it was my last conference, and uh, and um, we walked in the parent teacher conference. Yeah, and we walked in, and um, I was like. We, I sat down and, and my teacher said that um, I read 110 words a minute. And um, she said that's um, seventh or eighth grade level. And then my mom looked there and then she was like, that's nine. So, yeah. And I'm probably yeah, the, her teacher this time. said, her teacher said, and she's reading in seventh grade. And I looked at the, the book, I mean, the, the scale that she had there. And I said, but if she's reading 130, like, and I went across and I said, doesn't that make her in ninth grade reading? And she was like, oh my goodness, it does. And we were really proud of that. Huh? <laughs> Mommy, look at that. Yeah, that lady says that Ellie's smile looks just like Martin. So sweet. You do, huh? Yeah. Yeah. But just more feminine. No, that's, um, oh, is Richard on here? Someone said, uh, Aaron. Aaron, you're a long time. You're probably like an honorary member of the family. Oh, Richard says the ice maker is so loud. Should I unplug it, Richard? Um, someone says, are your kids homeschooled? They are not. Originally, my goal was to homeschool. I was homeschooled growing up, and um, although it was kind of a hectic experience just because I had a lot of siblings, and uh, my mom was a pretty busy lady, she did not how to say know how to say no, which is almost to a fault, but she's a wonderful, selfless person, um, and just always running around like a chicken with her head chopped off, <laughs> helping people. So she's a wonderful example. Um, but it just meant that I didn't, we didn't get a lot of face time with our teacher, and so. Um, but I wanted to homeschool the kids, and, um, but then the year that Ellie was supposed to start kindergarten was the year that uh, Martin was diagnosed, and so we were so busy with his treatments and coming in and out of town, and I was so focused on trying to help him, and life was so hectic that um, homeschool was kind of out of the 
out of the picture as an option. So we just started, but but it's definitely something I would love to um, get into in the future. Um, I'm going to move forward a little bit. Sweet to have a sister. I always shared books with my sisters growing up, staying up late and reading with flashlights. Yes, pretty soon. They're a little bit above you guys right now, but I loved... Um, Mary Higgins Clark and I read through tons of hers and I would I would do that and my sister would would read other books she wasn't super into mysteries um, but she read a lot too and uh, and yeah we'd sit there in our beds and and we'd read and um, she always croaked before I did mm -hmm. she was a lightweight wet oh um, Grace so and Cash there's Amber you guys remember from Bear Lake yeah. Amber? Yeah. Can I, yeah, she's can on there. Can I ask you a question? It says, what's your Which one? Name? Oh, yeah. What's, yeah. Ellie, what's your middle name? Marie. Okay. Eleanor Marie Myers, huh? Mm -hmm. Want to know my middle name? They do. They want to know your name, too. Golda. Sophia Golda Myers. So, Marie comes from my grandmother, and Golda comes from Martin's grandmother, huh? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um... She says, that's fantastic, Ellie. I'm a teacher, and I love doing reading fluency. I love seeing how much students' reading improves. I adore you guys. I'll rock that honorary status. <laughs> uh, you're so sweet, Erin. I'll turn my ice maker off because I would love a list of recommendation books, recommendations for kids. Yeah, you guys want to put that together with me? We'll put together a list of your favorite books so we can share it on the blog, and then... Yeah. Um, it would be really nice. Oh. Yeah, so they're asking, um, they're asking about what books you would recommend, which means like what, what books you think that maybe their kids would like to read. Mommy, do, yes. do all of them put all of their, those hearts on? Oh, they can. The Daddy different colors. Answered. The different, yeah, I see, honey, thank you. The different colors mean that they're coming from different people, and they're, they're tapping to give hearts because they think you're cute. Um, where is Diesel Girl? I think she's down with Richard. Richard's in the basement doing laundry, poor guy. I should be helping, but we wanted to hop on and say hi. <laughs> There's a mountain of clean clothes. I don't know about you guys, but I I really like swapping them out and having bins full of clean clothes, and then I don't quite get to the folding part so well. But I love washing the laundry, and so we have every laundry bin in the house filled with laundry in the basement. So that's going to be um, a lot of work, but but we'll just have to see. Um, how old is everyone in your family? You guys are eight, such a beautiful so family. Eight, so seven, I'm going to say, I'm going to, I'm going to tell you guys, I'm going to tell them your birthdays too. So Ellie was born uh, March 20th. Sophie, 2010. Sophie was, well, you don't have to tell the year, but Ellie's eight, March 20th. Sophie's seven, April 20th. So yeah, the next year in April. And John was born the next year in May, on May 30th. And he's six. Mm -hmm. And Lydia will be five in just a couple weeks now. So we have eight, seven, six, five, and her birthday's in November. And uh, you can sit forward, honey, so I can see you better. And then Evie turned three in June. And Alice turns eight months here in a week, next week. Wait, what? Next yeah. week? Next week she turns eight months old. That's crazy, oh, huh? Oh, my. She's growing too fast. Uh, so we have, yeah, we have eight, seven, six, five, three, and eight months, and, uh, and that's pretty crazy. And birthdays now, we have January and March. February is Alice. March is April, and, um, I'm sorry. January is me. February is Alice. March is you and Richard. April is you and Martin. May is John. June is Evie. And then November is Lydia. Me, that's the whole family. Me and Daddy Martin had the same birthday. The exact same birthday. That's pretty special. On huh? the exact same day. Okay. So I'm, it was I'm a not nice, uh, nice looking gift. at these enough. It was a nice gift to have me for a birthday present. That's what he always said. I said, I didn't get you a birthday present. And he said, well, you had a baby, so that's okay. So someone says, are John and Richard the only boys? They are. <laughs> Um, like they're a little bit outnumbered. Richard house. was making a joke um, the other day. I forget. I think it was just yesterday. He was saying like, like it drives him crazy, and but also, he's just he's just excited about when they all get to be teenagers, and and uh, it's gonna be nuts. Besides, it's gonna be just in nuts. a couple more years, I'm because be I 10. was I was a teenager with a bunch of my other sisters were in all like teenagers. Three more years, I'm going to be ten. You know, in like 20 more years, you'll be like 27, my age. 
<laughs> I know. Um, do the kids drink tea? No. no. No, but you guys like, what kind of juices do you guys like? Like apple juice, orange juice, lemonade, mm -hmm. a lot of juice. You guys aren't picky, huh? Yeah, we, we are don't, picky. We don't really drink soda. I especially love vegetables. Content. Sometimes, but we would drink she water does. way more. Well, water you is guys, our main thing. You guys love I do anything when I broccoli. juice vegetable. You are crazy. What? But so good. Um, I said you guys like when I juice vegetables too. Yeah, I did you say, Sophia? She said I'd do anything for broccoli. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, AJ says Richard, when we come out, you can put Logan on folding duty. Oh, <laughs> uh, it's a it must be a guy thing because they Richard's awesome at it too. Sweet girls, someone says hello from South Africa. My oldest is Eleanor with red hair too. I was born on my sister's eighth birthday. You know my uh, my parents. Um, so she was born on Martin's birthday in my family. My mother had um, a little boy. He passed away, but he was born on her birthday. And then my sister, Whitney, was um, born on my dad's birthday. So it's really special to have to share it with a sibling. I was born on my grandpa's birthday. And um, when he passed away, it was really sad because he kind of always had a little special place for me. He was He always told me I was his favorite, even though he had like 300 grandchildren. Um, no, you just said, like you, and it gets, um, Richard saying it drives me crazy. I don't remember saying that. No, I just mean it's going to be crazy. And, uh, do you girls like to play music or sing? Ooh, I, I bet. I love to sing. I bet. We can We're get you guys music. to sing a song. Would you guys want to sing a song? Sure. Is that a little bit embarrassing? How about the Yeah. Look? Sophie's Maybe. ready to do it. Yeah. You say, you say do what? Which one? Like the way it goes from school? Over yeah, you want to sing that one from school? Mm -hmm. So Sophie did a little performance today in school. Put your arm around me, honey, so you can scoot in more. Oh, there you go. Um, so Sophie had a little school performance with her class, and she had to memorize a song. Well, you didn't have to, but you were one of the kids that memorized it, huh? Mm -hmm. You want to sing it? Yeah. There was a ghost on Halloween. He really made the ghostly sing. Was a boogie woogie ghost. He was the ghostly with the most. When the kiddies came around, he gave up with the ghostly sound. He'd go woo. Even though he real, even though he was a little kooky, the kids all thought he was rather cool. Even though he was a little. Cookie, <laughs> Mr. Bomb Party. He was just a special ghoul. And when he wrote on Halloween and he appears upon the scene, who gave a scream and run away, just ask him if he'll stay and play. When the morning came around, he gave up with the ghostly sound. He go boo. <laughs> you did so good. And they had a dance too, it was all choreographed. When are you going to do a dance? John did one too. I don't know when. You don't know when? Are you guys going to do one, do you think? Um, that's probably gonna be... Somebody that's... says, bravo! <laughs> Someone said, that was adorable. <laughs> oh, that's gonna be on my third quarter of school. On your third quarter? Yeah. Is it gonna be like because for Christmas, maybe? or? I mean, look, um, someone says, amazing job. They like that. Thanks for doing that. So if I know that it's a little that's bit because, embarrassing um, I to do, sing in front I do, of people. I do computers, but... the library, and then um, music. And wait, no. No? Oh, mommy, um, somebody said that they were a music <laughs> teacher, too. Yeah, she said that was so good. I'm a music teacher. Someone said that was amazing and wonderful. You did so great. <laughs> you girls want to sing a song together? Yeah. How about I'm the Lost Boy of that, Ellie? Want to do that one? Um, what? Why do you do I Am Lost Boy? Um, that's a little too embarrassing for me. <laughs> we can, how about we do something another time? I can do okay. that. Because we don't want to, um, I know. There is a lost boy from Neverland. <laughs> I know, you're a great it. singer. You guys both are, so we'll do it. How about we do it again really soon? We can yeah, work okay. up to that, because that's a little bit unfair to put you on the spot. But, um, oh, there's my friend Cammy. You guys are, they all think you guys just did so good. So, are you guys, um, they asked about what you're being for Halloween. So we actually have a few costumes, because this year they wanted to have three but, um, we're but we're getting to pick sure. which one we're going to wear to school because we already yeah. have one costume, a vampire. And so mm -hmm. I know what my other costume is going to be. It's, I'm going to be Wonder Woman, but, and I don't know what else I might we're be. We're going to try to do like a family theme, at least for one of the costumes. 
we are, I am grossly behind schedule. I had big plans of sewing again this year. That was my tradition for ages, and uh, a few years ago I kind of had to stop that, but I, uh, I was hoping this year I could be able to do that again, but so far it's not been super productive. But, um, but just different ones because I just figured, you know, they don't have a lot of chances to dress up throughout the year. Um, AJ says, what should I be for Halloween? How about you guys think of some good ideas for AJ? Um, so yeah, I, uh, I think it just sounds fun to let them have a few different mm -hmm. times uh, to dress up because we have um, some family parties and then we have, you know, the day, the day of Halloween and then there's um, something with our church and so we I can just, and then they have stuff at school. So there's a lot of different opportunities and I figured you guys should just live it up. And we could also, I think we're just going to dress up in our costumes one of these days and go out to eat as a family dressed up because I think that that would be a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. <gasps> Aaron says, I think AJ's Wonder Woman. Do it, AJ. I think that's a great one. Your family has worn some of the coolest costumes I've ever seen. That is so sweet of you to say. Um, I would love to do something like super elaborate. Although whenever I want to do like a couple or a, no, I mean, like, like someone a, um, said it would be wait, my little ones would be Halloween heaven. <laughs> yeah, uh, I was gonna say I, I love sewing costumes because there's no rules and uh, I don't really know how to use patterns, so I just kind of wing it. And um, um someone said that she, um they're going to be a crow this yeah. year. Um, does Ellie or does Ellie have your eye color? No, she doesn't. So um, none of the kids have heterochromia. Um, Ellie has very icy blue eyes, huh? Need soap. Oh, Daddy needs soap. So Ellie has icy blue eyes like my mom and like Martin's dad. And um, then Sophie and John and Lydia all have green eyes. Um, Greenish hazel, mostly green, just like Martin. And then um, Evie has my brown eyes. And uh, she's the only one. And then Alice has green eyes, too. I have separate. So you're separate, and Evie's separate, huh? Yeah. Well, nobody in our family, our family right here, has blue eyes. So you are pretty special. And blue eyes and red hair is the rarest combination, huh? Yeah. That's what you tell people at school when they say stupid stuff, huh? They're like, you what? You say, well, guess what? I'm special. <laughs> Um, what do you think if, if somebody was asking you for, for advice about how to be a good person, what would you say? Um, be nice and <laughs> respectful and find the right job and lots of stuff. Yeah, find the right job and be respectful and nice. Yeah. What about, um... What do you do when, when people are mean to you at school? Because you've had some kids say some not nice things over the last couple of years, huh? But what do you usually yeah. do about that? Um, people have you just come back and sit really by me. Mean things and yeah. the thing, the um, what I do is, I just um, either just ignore them or I go tell if it if I feel like it'll bother me a lot. And that's what I do. Yeah. Uh, last year, our, we had our school song, and um, we played that every morning, huh? Yeah. After uh, the song, The Greatest Showman, This Is Me, and we, we started listening to it a lot because the kids would request it, and then um, in the mornings when I would drive them to school, they, they asked for it, and we would sing it really loud together, huh? And a lot of the time it would make me cry because it's a really great song. Um, but the idea about you guys going to school and getting out of the car and, and going into school, um, singing those words, made me feel like you guys would remember that you were really special no matter what happened. And you said that it helped you sometimes, didn't it? Yeah. Do you remember a, a time in particular when, when maybe that helped you? Um, it sometimes helps helps me, but I don't remember um, any time that it helped me, but sometimes it's like I think about it, and it makes me feel a little bit better. Oh, Cindy, yes. I'd love to chat with you. That's good, Ellie. I'm glad. 
So this year, but on the first day of school, I ordered these little things on Etsy. Um, they were little necklaces, and it was a little, they were little balls. Um, they had a little, they were like little, um, almost like key fob, like watch fobs, and, and it, they were, um, it said, I'm brave, I'm bruised, I'm who I meant to be, this is me. Yeah. And you guys all got one, and that was really special. That you guys would remember that. Okay. Cammie says, you can teach us adults a lot, Ellie. Um, I love the sincerity in her little face answering your questions. Such a sweet soul. You're a sweetheart, Ellie. See this sweet comment? She says, she is stunning. God made you exactly as you are meant to be. Uniquely beautiful. Don't let the words affect you. Erin says, it's hard when people are stinkers. You are beautiful and wonderfully made. You are incredibly smart. Keep it up, honey. Amber says, Ellie, I hope you know that you're such a strong, sweet, and special girl. Kids can be so mean. This lady says, my dad always told me to be a duck. Let the mean things run off your back like water on a duck's back. That's a great thing to remember, huh? Yeah. Yeah, Ellie, Ellie has been unique in um, having bullies since kindergarten. Yeah. But it's just because people are, are different. You're the, the only red, I think you have, you were the only redhead in your class for a while, huh? Yeah. Um, this year, I, there's um, a boy in my class with red hair. Yeah. This time. Yeah. yeah His name is Tom. That's fun. Um, so she'd get teased about silly stuff, and, and she would just tell me that it was, it was silly, huh? You just say, yeah. that's, that's just silly. Well, the and, guy? and you, you remember that it, you remember that it didn't, doesn't really have anything to do with you, huh? Yeah. When somebody's mean to you like that, what does that usually mean? It means that um, something happened to them and they don't, and they don't like it very much. Yeah. So I've, I've told Ellie stories about when I was bullied when I was little, and she's um, also, I've shown her some comments that people have left saying pretty mean things um, about me and the family, and, and um, as just kind of like another way to show her that that it never really ends. If you, as long as you try to be a good person, you're going to have people that just, well, and, and not even, I mean, no matter what you do, I guess, and no matter who you are, you're going to have people that will just, because you're going to run into um, people your whole life that, that are different, that think differently than you do. Also, Anyways. Um, so. one, of the, one of the boys, um, one of the boys is coming up over and over again, and he's doing more stuff, but... I'm going to have to meet this bully. He's, he's going to have to come talk to mom. He's the, um, he's the brother of my um, best friend. Really? Yeah. It's, it's like weird. What's your best, your best friend, Troy? Um, no. No, that's right. No. Troy moved away, huh? No, my other best friend, um, she, it's like she, I've had, had her in my class since um, kindergarten. Her name is Grace Wongman. Oh, I remember her. Yeah. yeah um, I remember about, about seeing personal stuff too much. Yeah. But but it's his it's her brother that's giving you a hard time. Yeah. Hmm. We'll have to talk about that. I'm sorry about that, honey. All right. Um so we better wrap up here pretty soon actually. People are just saying really nice things. You see the nice comments coming from people. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because we we've been on here this, for this, a while. This sweet girl says, I love your positive attitude, Ellie. I'm sorry kids are so mean sometimes. You are a wonderful girl. Amber says, most people are kind and good, but the, there really are some stinkers out there. Yeah. Aaron says, gosh, people are snots. We can only be the best we can be. Ignore what you can't change and spread kindness like confetti. You are probably, they're probably jealous of you because you are so pretty and smart, says Cammie. <laughs> pretty girls. My son has autism and gets bullied for being different. And that's so awful. Yeah. And that's so hard. It's, it's easy to say, oh, just ignore them and... Just don't let it bother you, and, and it does. It does bother you. You can't help but let it affect you a little bit, but we talk about it every day, huh? And we try to remember that. Yeah. Yeah, you're getting kind of cut off there, so. Well, Sophie, I asked Ellie one, when you were gone. I said if you could tell, um, if somebody asked you what your best advice was for being a good person, what would your advice be? Here, scoot in, scoot in here, honey. Like, um... My advice would be 
What do you think? If somebody said, how do I, how do I be a good person, what would you tell them? I would say just be your best and try as hard as you can on doing stuff. Like if you're reading and you don't know how to spell a word, then you could um, ask someone and they could help you and you could try spelling your best. Mm -hmm. Like sound it out and then try spelling it. You mean like if you want to be smarter, like you yeah. can ask for help? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like you need to try your hardest. <laughs> Ooh, I think that that is, I think that's Aunt Janella. It is. She says, you girls are so loved. Love, Texas. Night loves. Say bye. See you bye. later. Mommy, look. What? Look, look at, at what? that. Oh, at Sophie and Ellie. Look. Yeah, she's giving you a thumbs up. She says, good job. Look. Oh, so Mosey still wants to be pen pals. Ooh, yeah, we love pen pals. Yeah, Let's you do really it. want to be pen pals. Yeah, yeah you want to, be, he wants to be pen pals with, um, with Paxton, but he w never wrote back. You know? Well, and, um, yeah, you guys have, we need to get, I don't know. I'm pretty sure I got your address, didn't I, Amber? We've just slacked off all summer. Well, you girls, scoot in here. Um, we probably should wrap up. We have a lot of stuff to do, and you guys need to get to bed, although I promised you guys some pumpkin, pumpkin pie. pie. <laughs> These girls um, have asked if they can just cook with me every time I cook. And so today they opted out of going scootering with Richard and all the other kids. Uh, which they love to do, but they wanted to cook with me, and we made, what did we make? Um, we made some mashed potatoes. Um, we made oven-roasted asparagus with lemon and cheese. Yeah, yeah and we and also we made some steak. steak. Made some I, steak. I mostly made steak, mm -hmm. and Ellie mostly helped make the mashed but potatoes. But we learned, we always try to focus on, like, different skills, like cutting, and I told them the difference between, like, a pot and a pan. Yeah, and I'm the person what you, who's... what they're kind of used for, and Ellie's getting more into the the sharp knife cutting yeah. a little bit earlier I, than I so. I use like those big ones now. Yeah, today um, today I had her use quite a sharp knife cutting the potatoes, but I was right there the whole time and we, we did it really slowly. And, and then Sophie used tongs with a frying pan and learned about not dropping things into hot oil, huh? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you guys learned a lot tonight. And mommy. And they're um, learning little things all the time. Um, well, we, we don't usually have pumpkin pie, do we? No, we don't. Like I've never made a pumpkin pie. Life. But Richard bought me one. Yeah, we and, buy um, some from the store. And it lasts a Not long time. Often, we have a lot of whipped cream. Um, we also wrote up a big list of stuff that they want me to teach them. They want to, me to teach them to sew on the sewing machine. And they want to learn how to crochet. And we want to do cross stitch. And we want to do painting. And we want to do... Mommy, also I have yes. this um, cross, cross stitch um, practicing little kit. It makes like this little purse thing. Where did you get it? Um, it was for my birthday. I haven't used it yet, though. Yeah. Oh, I saw the asparagus on your story. Great job, girls. Maybe you want to buy some. It was We had nice, fat asparagus at um, Costco. Sometimes when they're really thin, they don't have a lot of juice and they don't have a lot of flavor. Um, these girls want to make French bread. Yeah. And yeah, I really want to learn how to make bread because you make the best bread. You're so sweet, honey. Thank you. Mm -hmm. You guys are going to make better bread. Um, these girls are excited about, about helping me. We're going to do some... Some kid hair tutorials, huh? Yeah. They've been really excited about doing that, and so I'm going to teach them how to do hair, but also I'll just do their hair um, in in uh, video, on video, and we'll put them up on YouTube and stuff. Mm-hmm. And we're still learning how to do the money stuff, like um, we're doing these chore things, mm -hmm. like really nice chores, we're and we're earning the money. Yeah. Wow. That's really like, cool. Because we're earning the, these this money, so we can buy, so we We've can save like, up to pay tithing, and so that we can buy stuff from the store and yeah. stuff. You guys want to buy stuff for your? We worked. Um, I just started them on art journaling this summer, and they're getting really killer at it. I'm having to remind them to actually journal, um, because they're loving collecting little things from when they go places, and they're saving little leaves, and they're pressing flowers into their books, and researching what they are, and. Um, this is Ellie. Somebody Mama. asked their ages again. Ellie's eight and Sophie is seven. Um, I think you should. Um, show, I think we should look around the house together because I lost my journal because the because the kid kids always play with. Um, I my still stuff. have mine. Yeah. So um. um yeah, we need to keep these girls' stuff the separate and special. The little girls love getting into their things while they're at school. Like um, the glass case. And like, so you either I can keep them out of the girls' room at all. I mean, totally. Um, 
which is where all their things are and their toys, but it's also where the girls' big things are. So I think we're going to put a shelf high up for your special stuff. That way the little yeah. girls can't get into it when they're playing. Like, huh? like on the dresser, we could make it a little bit higher mm -hmm. and it, so we could put our stuff up there and put it yeah. on the high part. I think that's a smart so, idea. you got to sit up more so they can see you, silly. You guys want to sit back on the couch behind me my and favorite, then just scoot in close? My favorite part of there the game was... Um, Making dinner with mom, and that's You're really so cool cute. that um, it's Wednesday over in Australia. Yeah, my favorite part is making today is Tuesday for too. us because she, cause she's yeah. saying she's teaching us how to do it, and it's actually so much fun because, so um, cute. because I love doing the steak and all of that, especially the steak because it's so, it looks so good when we finish it, yeah. and it actually is very fun to make because, um. It's very fun. It was very easy to make because all you need to do is buy the stick from the store and then cook it on the stove. It's so Pretty easy. easy, huh? And then you, how did you do it? You put a little bit of oil on it. Oil off, in the um, pan. Like and you the got it hot. vegetable oil. Mm -hmm. And then you get the pot and you put it in and then you just stick it on and then you put the spices on if you want any spices on. And then you flip it over and you put more spices on. And then um, once you're done, you put it on the plate and then it's ready to go. You put little spices, and then you flipped it over, and you put some more spices. We were trying to figure out that the really light-handed, spicy, like when you're seasoning something, how you have to kind of spread it out. And it's tricky to get it spread around. Huh? Sometimes it kind uh -huh. of all wants to go in the same spot. Well, we're kind of digressing. Um, I think we should wrap up. Australia Someone says it North tastes better when you cook it yourself, too. North you think Carolina the food tastes better? and um, Australia on like, um, um, Wednesday right now. Gretchen says, you can tell you girls love your mama. <laughs> it's all just a trick. I just trick you. I just. <laughs> oh, we're going to get AJ to come back, and she's going to bring Logan. And we're going to get to see him. Yeah, because I've actually never met Logan. Yeah, yeah we've never met him, huh? He wrote us a sweet letter last time she came. Which ones mm -hmm. do you mean were twins? Me and my Someone mom said. Or I, yeah. she said, um, you girls look like twins. You girls, I think she means you girls. I think she means you two we're girls kinda, look like twins. We like talk the same way, but it's like we look different. And it's yeah, really weird. we look different. It's so funny. It's a really weird. Like, we kind of have the same faces, except our mom gets different, and I got this somewhere sometimes. where I can't find I don't, out where I, don't. I got it. It's and okay. Ellie has a dry spot. We have different hair too. and different birthdays. We're not very much like. Well, I don't get you guys confused when you look that way because you yeah. because of the way you look. I get you confused because you're both girls and you're both my daughters, and that's what my mom would and do it's too. Like both of us it's like whenever, kind of a mom thing. Kind of like it's like twins, whenever kind you're of. like. You're like, Sophia, I need your help changing Evie's diaper. And she's like, mm -hmm. what? I can't cha change Evie's diaper. And Ellie changes diapers, like, huh? Yeah. Like, she always says, Sophie, Sophie Ellie, Johnny, bottle. all of them um, have the have the yeah. same ending. So all of us come running over, and she's mm -hmm. like, we're like, which one do you want? And she's like, I want you. And we're like, oh. So we, so the other two go back. Yeah. And so um, she calls us someone again, and then all three of us well, my come mom, on. My mom, when she called my name, she would say, Louisa, I wit Kate, at Emily, and then she would finally say my name, and she used to try and say it like all of my siblings, and uh, and so sometimes we would we would get out of having to go help her because she would call the wrong name, and I'm doing that already, huh? Sometimes I'll say uh -huh. Sophie, come here, and you'll say I'm right here, and I'll say Oops, I mean Ellie, <laughs> and I get you guys confused. Um, I think you should have pumpkin pie with this, mommy. Someone says, hi from California. My girls want to meet you girls. Oh, we want to come to California on a family trip. So we would love yeah. to figure that out. I've never been to California. Somebody asks, do you ever eat dinner outside when the weather is nice? Why don't you answer oh, yeah, that Oh, yeah, we, we've, we've done that, like, every once in a while. Like, mm -hmm. when our friends come over, so I Penny, Greg, and... Um, Rebecca, whenever they come over, we mostly um, like we have roast. lights around the back porch and that Daddy hung up. And we mostly have like and... hamburgers or hot mm -hmm. dogs. We have st stuff set out on the table like a big we have, feast. We have a little mini picnic table and a big one, and yeah, we bring out all the stuff and we have and a big we, feast. And we make huh? it, and then and then we start playing, and then it's time for them to go. We mostly play in like for a really long time. <laughs> You know what's funny? Someone says that they did mean it was you two girls that were twins. They said, you have the same face, just different hair. And I have an older sister that I'm really close with. Her name's Jordan. And we're kind of the same. 
um, we would get mistaken for twins. We were really close in height. Um, we were about a year and a few months apart, and we did everything together, and we went everywhere together, and we would try to dress up in matching clothes so we could pretend to be twins. And uh, we started joking that we were peanut butter and jelly because we were really different, but we went really well together. And so, because she's like very blonde and very tan, and I'm all freckly and red-haired, and, and um, I have really long le uh, legs, and she has a really long torso. And so we could wear all the same, but we're like exactly the same height. And we can what wear all the torso? same clothes. The torso is, is um, your, your core. It's like from here to here. Your, your main part of your body where all of your organs are. Yeah, well, where all of I your like, that. food goes and stuff. Yeah, that's where your food goes and all the digestion happens and where your kidneys heart is. and where it's where your heart is. and yeah. Your brain is up here. Um, my mom does that too. You girls have so many great skills. You'll be so equipped for life. Um, you are a beautiful family. You guys are so sweet. You know, they have been saying such nice things. This has been such a sweet um, live tonight. You guys are really being sweet to these girls, but and you they deserve said, it, huh? Um, down there. So she says, "Come to Australia." Oh, we want to go to Australia so bad. So I have family and from Australia. Also look right there. Will you take your kids to Disneyland? Oh, you know what? I've never been. Sophie, I love you, but you can't put all your weight on me, honey. Okay, I'm me falling neither. over. I've never been. You, well, you guys certainly have never been. We but we did buy. We bought season tickets. I really want to go to Disneyland. Like, that is my dream place where I want to go. We went to, uh, we bought season tickets to Lagoon, and you guys have been doing roller coasters and all the fun stuff, and we've gone a bunch of times, and I went on my first roller coaster a couple months ago. On this big ago. hide one? Well, my favorite one was called... Um, Cannibal? Cannibal. No, is that what it's called? Cannibal, yeah, Cannibal. Cannibal? And so Ellie, that's Ellie's worst fear. <laughs> yeah, Ellie's not goes, much of a daredevil, It goes like huh? down and then it goes dip. You gotta show it this go way. Over. So it goes down and then, then it goes under and then, and then like out. Like and it I, goes like a big dip and it's so uh -huh. cool because it you goes girls through back here. a waterfall. It, goes it was through. my first roller like coaster that I had done since before I was pregnant with Ellie. I've not done any roller coasters since I started having kids. I would, and I, I was freaked out, but then it was so fun. And I had yeah, so much mom, fun with you guys. Yeah, my mom thought she was going to throw up. To, I was really nervous because I have a weak stomach since the last few kids. And, and I get sick really easily. Mm -hmm. And it, so I was like, let's do it last. That way, if I'm going to be sick, I won't be sick the rest of the day. But it was so fun, huh? And we did uh -huh. it again. And then I tried putting my hands in the air. And it was so fun. And I said, Ellie, put your hands in the air. And she was and too she freaked said, out. No, I can't. She was too freaked and out And so I to tried to it. pull her hands off, the handlebars. And she had like a death grip. And I was like trying to pry her hands. And I was like, come on, Ellie, hands up. And she said, no, I can't. <laughs> but you did it, huh? You were brave. I did it. That's a tough one. I love you, but you're laying on me again. My mom said if... I'll scoot back like this. My mom Is that said, better? Yeah, my mom said that. Um, I didn't do it. My mom said that if we did, if Ellie did it one more time, we'd get guys. ice cream. I said, and if you do it. If you put your hands up in the air and Ellie mm -hmm. did do it, she was like gripping on the handle again. And but they so got ice cream She's anyways. like, oh. And then I put it, my hand up in the air. And, and, so and then... Ollie, we got stuck, huh? Yeah, we got stuck. The roller coaster stuck. stopped, and we got stuck. We, we weren't upside, upside down. We weren't upside down. Don't tell them that. But it was still scary. We were stuck in a tunnel, and we were there for, like, almost an hour. And it was getting hot, and they brought us little water bottles, and they couldn't do... No, we weren't upside down, silly. I don't know. We were not upside down for an hour. Yeah, um, funny. They brought us little water bottles, and they were really sorry, and um, I didn't really want to go on that ride again after I got stuck. But... Uh, we couldn't get out either um, because the electrical on the ride was messed up. And so the big things that come and lock us into place were stuck. Huh. And we yeah. couldn't get out. Like we and were stuck like totally. Like you're stuck in a yeah, pile of We rocks. couldn't move. Yep. And it was a little bit scary. But then we started playing I Spy and some games like that and it was fine, huh? Yeah, and we looked at the air, and it was and and it was like falling down on our faces. Mm -hmm. It was so freezing, what was, like like on the little fans up um, on the top. Remember those little what about fans the fans? <coughs> that make the um, bless you the cool, cool mm -hmm. air. Well, I was like looking up at the fans, and there was like air, it's cold air everywhere, and it felt so good on my face. We need to go to bed in a few minutes. I think um, TS says Emily, would you ever start a family vlogging YouTube channel? I think it would be. I think it would do really well. You're really sweet. That's that's the the goal. Just because um, I've talked about this before, but but having family videos is is something that I want so much. 
And so while I, I love Instagram stories because it gets me to whip it out and videotape more, it's hard to turn those into YouTube videos because they're always shot this way and YouTube's that way. And But I do have a lot more footage now than I would have. Should we pack um, up? Yeah, we should pack up in just a second. Um, so we do have a couple videos. Um, and there are a couple old vlogs that have Martin still in them. Um, but I've definitely taken my time getting videos back on there. I've always been pretty slow with videos on my YouTube channel, but but that was my biggest regret actually when, when Martin passed away was just not having more family videos. That was the only thing I wished we had had more. So um, I've tried really hard and Richard actually has a lot of skills with video and he did a lot of that in high school. And so he's gonna kind of take over that and I'm excited because I, I can do a lot of typing and photos and he might be able to catch a lot more just fun video clips of the family just doing our thing, which most of the time won't be very interesting, but but we have fun, huh, guys? Mm-hmm. Ellie, you look tired, girl. Yeah, um, let's tired. try to catch up on the comments a little bit, and then we really do need to wrap up. So um, somebody says, did you guys ride Wicked? Oh, yes. you guys did Wicked, huh? Wicked. I love Wicked. Yeah, Wicked Ooh, is Oh, we like... haven't done Frightmares. You're going this weekend? Dang it, I don't think we'll be going this weekend, but we might go next week. Um, what it is depends. Frightmares? frightmares is like a Halloween theme around Lagoon, and there's people that jump out and scare you. They're not allowed to touch you, from what I understand, as long as you don't touch them. But but they have like zombies walking around, and oh, that's so there's creepy. like it's all decorated. Yeah, I think it's scary, but fun. Um, mm -hmm. You have season passes too, says Cammy. That would be really fun to meet you there sometime. Um, Let's see, which ride? It was it was Cannibal, I think is what it's called. It was it's the biggest one that goes up in the big brown tower and yeah. um and it comes and it goes there. upside down a lot and there's like a waterfall next to it. It's it's their biggest ride, I believe. Yeah, um, it's it's so cool. Like you can see the whole city from hmm. up on that big dip thing because you start out low and then you go up in this little elevator in your seats and then you go down and you're right there and then it waits like a minute and then you go dip it down first and, you have to, and everyone goes screaming. Sophie is the biggest daredevil, huh? You've done that mm -hmm. a lot of times and you love it. I love it. And you like to it. go back again and again. Mm -hmm. So um, let's wrap it up, girls. I'm tired and you guys need to go to bed and I have a lot of stuff to get to. Um, but real, do you guys want to answer any more questions or do you want to just be done? Let's just be done. All right, let's just be done. Uh, you guys want to say anything? Um, thank you for watching. <laughs> thank you for watching. <laughs> Subscribe to our channel. Wait, that's the wrong thing. <laughs> um, they had a lot of fun, and um, and you guys had some fun. I hope. Yeah. Thank you guys. So thank fun. you guys for all the nice things you said, <laughs> and I'm glad you could see these sweet girls. And um, yeah, you guys got to stay up late tonight. Huh? You need to go to sleep. Yeah. What time is it? Yeah. Nine o'clock. Um, Ow. <laughs> I hope I can meet you all one day. Oh, we'd love that. Uh, thanks for chatting with us. Always love seeing you girls. Have sweet dreams. Good night. I'm going to pray for you and those bullies. Yeah, we're going to put that to a stop, huh? Yeah. So Kemi says, we love you so, so much. You guys are so awesome. Thank you guys for your sweet comments. And uh, we will see you back again soon. I need to do a live with the little kids pretty soon, huh? Yeah. And let them say hi again. All right. Talk to you later, you guys. Everybody have a good night.